As a kid, I was always a tinkerer. I liked building things. I liked understanding things. And I was taking computer science in fifth grade, where they talked about how the next generation of computing was AI. And it was described as like building computers that are smart and understand the world. It was really simple, but it was like really fun and cool and beautiful. You're getting data from sensing the world. You're trying to make sense of the data using computer programs, and then you're teaching the machine to act. So I was working on this DARPA-funded project, which was to build an intelligent assistant, like a desktop assistant that is reading all your documents, your emails, your PowerPoints, like any communication that's happening. And to me, that was like absolutely fascinating. But I also sort of went through a little bit of like what I feel was an early midlife crisis. Like all that horsepower, all the work I was doing, the best thing I could think that was gonna come out of it was just a more smart spam filter and that felt a little dissatisfying. It was just prior to the High Tech Act. So High Tech Act is this big policy that happened in the US that um, gave incentives for health systems to start implementing electronic health records. Suddenly there's all this granular data that would be available that computers could suddenly study and understand. I knew little to nothing about medicine and I knew absolutely nothing about healthcare. So for me, this was just a fascinating world that I was just getting to learn from my colleagues. And coming from my vantage point, this seems like today we just don't know what to do with this data. It seems very complicated. Nobody is actually analyzing any of it. You know, people in medicine didn't at all see this data as like naturally valuable. They thought of it as gunk data, lots of human error. But in AI, we were very much used to the world of messy, dirty, and making sense of the real world the way it exists, as opposed to trying to get the world to align with how you want it to be. Naturally, the question is, what could we do if we could use AI to make sense of all this data? Could we you know, start to improve the way patients get treated? Should we, could we start to make sense of diseases we barely understand? Could we start to target treatments way more specially and differently than we do now? Sepsis can happen to anybody. It's not a narrow niche type of problem. I lost my nephew to sepsis. And it's well understood in the field that an hour can mean the difference between life and death. So it's all about how quickly can you identify this patient and how quickly can you make sure they get the relevant treatment. Can we really beat like really high quality physicians? Well, turns out we ran a massive study. And what we showed were patients you know, we identified them on average five and a half hours before physicians were identifying it on average. So that's a huge opportunity. What AI allows us to do very differently is that, let's say a patient is in the hospital. You know, we're already collecting all sorts of data in the background, like their labs, their vitals, the treatments, what's happening, how are they evolving. The system has this multi smart multimodal AI that's now sense-making by comparing this patient to millions of other patients to see what is concerning. And if it finds enough signs that something is concerning, it then brings that to the clinician's attention. It also is collaborative in the sense that it's really presenting information and ultimately the care team looks at the information and decides whether or not the person is septic. The platform is doing a number of smart things to one, make the right thing the easy thing to do, and two, make the care team's job much simpler and save them time in the process. In a pretty large pragmatic study, nearly half a million patients, we showed nearly 18% reductions in mortality. I think one of the most compelling opportunities with AI is the ability to learn what is the best slash optimal way to do something, right? Today, we have deaths due to misdiagnosis, delayed diagnosis, and correct diagnosis. Much of it can be avoided, and we start to see that. So I think there's a really a number of ways in which AI will get embedded where you can feel much more assured that like you're taken care of.